Welcome to Hinduism Q&A. Today's question is, does God really answer our prayers? God is always watching us. God knows our each and every thought. And we also know that God is all-knowing and all-kind. So we can assume that whatever is in the best interest of the souls, God would already be doing. Whether we ask him or we don't ask him, he's going to do whatever is best for us on our behalf because he is our divine mother, he is our divine father. From that point of view, there's no need to ask God for anything. He's already perfectly kind and since he's all-knowing, there's nothing that escapes him. There's no chance of him making a mistake. But at the same time, human beings have a desire to pray to God. So what is the highest thing we can pray for? The experience of God. There are different levels of prayer. Sometimes we join our mind to God through praying for material things. But as I just explained, the material things God is going to give to us or not give to us, according to our past good and bad actions, or according to what's best for us. Not according to what we think we want in the short term. Nonetheless, many of us pray to God asking for material things, and it's a starting point. It's one way of starting to think of God. But there's a higher reason of, for thinking of God. That would be simply to surrender yourself to God without asking for anything or making any material demands, just feeling that God exists. He is mine. I belong to Him, so I should surrender my heart and mind to Him. I should surrender myself completely to Him. And it's also natural to have the desire to know God, to want to experience God. This is the highest thing we can pray for. Oh God, oh Shri Krishna, please come to me. I want to meet you face to face. I want to know you and experience you. When we pray to God like this, we immediately receive his grace in our heart, which is the true goal of prayer. The true goal is to surrender our mind to him so that we can receive his grace and start to experience his presence and his divinity in our heart and mind. And ultimately, we can become God-realized through such powerful form of prayer when we use that prayer to surrender ourselves to him without making any material demands. Jai Shri Radhe.